Hello, my brothers and sisters on Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heyer and I believe in dragons. So you would know where this video is all about. The videos that I make is about believing in dragons, but much more than that. <clears throat> I had an experience of a spiritual path of the dragon. And the spiritual path of the dragon is not only believing in dragons, but following them. And that is the first step that you take on the dragon's path. Acceptance is the first step, and then you follow the dragon, but not blindly. Uh, people often ask how a draconic awakening, how it feels to have an awakening by the dragon. To be very, very honest, it's something that I like to keep for myself, because words cannot describe how it feels when you first meet your dragon for the first time, when they touch you, when they open every energy in your soul. My brothers and sisters, that is an experience that I cannot explain in words. The only thing that I can explain from that is pure and finally coming together as one. It's, it feels like you uh, meet up with someone that you, that you lost so long ago, but you didn't even know it. You forgot about this. And when, when you finally face the, the, the one that you, were, uh, that you lost, that, um, that feeling is like... Um, like a long lost brother or mother or father or a lover or something like that came back and it's it feels like uh, like being a whole again but uh, as I said you don't have to follow something blindly I didn't do that uh, I was an atheist before and I said I only I only believe what I see <clears throat> so why do I believe in dragons I could only feel them it's um, it's a sort of life force that the dragon emits that you can feel, and it it connects with you. It it communicates with you, and that is why you can you can sense it's a dragon. You can sense not only it's it's a dragon, but it's a dragon who wants to communicate with you. But why do they communicate with you? It's because they want to attract your attention, and that is um, in the beginning. It's it's it was not immediately like that. Um, before my awakening, I had uh, a couple of triggers. It was awakened, um, it was something like, dragon, dragon, what the hell, dragon? Um, no, no, no. Uh, I, I pushed it back. I pushed it back so much so, but on my 18th birthday, exactly on that day, everything changed. It was, I couldn't hold it back anymore. It was an explosion of feelings. Like I said, a chaos. Chaos energy, pure chaos energy, and that is the energy of a dragon, where you yourself, you have to find your own path out of the chaos. So no one could know what kind of path you, you can take. No one else in this world is taking the same path, not even on the dragon's path. No one is taking the same path as you. <clears throat> but yeah, in the beginning, <laughs> it, it was quite an experience, too, to say. Um, and I, and I love it. I would do it again. I would do it again, even though it took me to hell. It took me to heaven. I had to do a lot of tests, but I would do it again. Because I so much love my dragon. <clears throat> and that is, <laughs> that is cliche to say, but love is the key to opening up the gates. Five spiritual gates. So opening up until you find the realm of the dragon. And that is not a fantasy roleplay. I've been there. And it's beautiful. Uh, at least to the ones, the ones that are chosen by the dragon. Because, and that is something that you, that I have to say, uh, if you are chosen by the dragon, the realm of the dragon is heaven. It's paradise. It's beautiful for you, and you want to stay there. It's because, or or maybe it's because the spring is arriving, so that uh, it will be more. Um, so that, so that the, the guardians are guarded, um, are guarding the gate of the dragon much more, so it remains closed. Or the dragon pushes you away so that you can live your life here. Because the longer that your body is without a soul, the, longer, uh, the, the more uh, chance it is that your body will weaken and die. And without the dragon souls, the dragon energies, we will die. And that is why they sometimes push us back, so that we can live on in this side, the most important realm of them all, our realm, to do things physically. Um, and then the 
of course when the dragon is back when the dragon has experienced much more um, then you can do very good deeds here with the eye of the dragon that you have but there is something that you need to know about this um, so the dragon realm to us it's heaven to us it's paradise but i'm very very much sure that maybe for other people it won't be because the dragon for many people they are can, can be considered as uh, demonic energies and demonic energies what is that that is dark energies and dragons and humans that they don't connect with have yeah it maybe you can feel this inside of yourself that this connection with other humans is not like how humans react to each other you have something inside of you with an emotion a negative emotion for them and um, yeah um, <coughs> when dragons spot someone that is 100% human in their realm yeah that is code red of course you the dragons won't they, that is also something you have to know about spiritual path of the dragon. We are maybe a spiritual path. It doesn't need that. That 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 doesn't mean that you are weak. That doesn't mean that you will uh, kneel and pray all the time uh, on the spiritual path of the dragon. It's actually a warrior's path. You have to understand this. Um, the the life of the dragon was the life of a warrior, not because they were fighting all the time, not because there are wars all the time, but because their life struggle and their their life was an endless battle for survival and an endless battle to create balance balance of light and dark balance of everything even the dragon gods they all strive for balance but also just their daily lives was a battle and uh uh, they don't understand they don't expect that humans understand this but they expect from the followers people who follow the dragon would understand this because you have this energy you can read from them maybe you can read their warrior's heart as well maybe you have it yourself and that is also yeah you cannot blame them for having these emotions for humans not all of them are like that but yeah um the dragon realm is like a home for many of us um, for a, at least a bit of you it's like a home but there is also where it's, where is a dragon heaven there is also a dragon hell and i've been there more than in heaven actually and um, that was an experience to fight for dragon light because i was experiencing 100 percent pure darkness i knew what darkness was and back then especially after that after that experience of going to this place um i knew what light was i knew what it was and i don't expect anyone else to know what this is but i knew what this was and it changed me forever and this was immediately in the beginning of my path immediately had i had to start out of the chaos i shall make a path that is only my path and no one has said that it was going to be easy it was going to be very very difficult and challenging and confusing but out of that once you step beyond that then you change then you are uh, you it will show that you have a warrior's heart that a dragon's heart is a warrior's heart and a warrior's soul that will never ever give up and will keep on continuing not even death can stop them because they are a part of death uh, yes uh, the first time yeah like i said uh, an awakening how does it feel <laughs> yeah um let, let, let me put it this like, like this way in this way um i was an atheist i didn't believe in anything one day changed it all and i was falling down on my knees out of out of wonder for what i felt and only felt and every time when i closed my eyes i could see a dragon every time and i just knew it was a dragon that, that is a thing you immediately recognize this energy you know it's a dragon 
and you know it's connected with you. This feeling, my brothers and sisters, made me go crazy. And I just want to say I was going insane. And then the dragon pulled the energy out of me and then it was silent. And then I could experience in silence while my body just continued. And then five months later, I came back. Still uh, so uh, under the amazement of what I just saw and experienced. And then my path could tr truly begin. And I, um, I knew what the dragon had to do to come to us. They do a lot to come to us. So much. And that is why I have all the respect for them. For doing so much for us. For loving us so much. They are manipulators of nature and manipulators of the mind. Manipulators of... They can talk to you. They can, they can show things to you. But in order to come here, they needed your help. So it's you who let them go through. Through the final gate that they had to come through. That they had to open. Without you, there is no dragon here. And they remain behind five gates. But with you, they can also come here. On this place. The dragon's path is... Um, also warrior's path but also it's it's not like a warrior like I said it's going to be like in a in war and something like that but it's more of surviving it's to know I mean knowledge and wisdom is a key for everything knowledge and wisdom is a key for so much and once you have this knowledge of light and dark and the dragon and yourself and the path that you are taking then your path can truly begin. Then you can shape it. My brothers and sisters, be blessed.